I'm Burton Raffel. I'm a writer, I'm a translator, I'm a lawyer. And I translated from Old English and Indonesian and Hebrew and French and German and Spanish. And this has been the story of my life. And nobody grows up wanting to be a writer and wanting to be a translator. I fell into it. I fell into it because I was having trouble with my writing. And I decided I would work in poetry, but I didn't like the poetry I was writing, and I liked very much the poetry that, that I read in other languages. I had learned a number of languages. My father spoke eight. Until I had learned four, I didn't think I knew any languages. And, uh, and I loved the poetry of, of other languages. And I got so much out of translation when I was young, that I decided I would pay something back and do this, and I discovered not only that I enjoyed it, but that I had the power to do it. Translation is, is a marvelous, marvelous steeping of yourself in not just another language, but another culture and another time. Ezra Pound once said, and it's very important to, to, to know this, you don't translate what a man says, you translate what a man means. I got into Beowulf because uh, when I was living in Indonesia, I was translating Old English book, and I was asked to translate a section of Beowulf. And I said, well, what 500-line excerpt should I, should I do? He very kindly said, oh, take the first 500 lines. And he told me afterwards, he knew perfectly well, that if I started, I would never stop. Of that engage with him, sitting there, of a form of the Hiram shoulder, Gomba and Gilda, that was gold. The Beowulf was composed about 800 or 850. Nobody knows. We only have one copy of it, and we're lucky to have that. But it, it is an epic poem which encompasses in its 3,182 lines many of the social and psychological attitudes of our ancestors as English-speaking people. And what our ancestors were in shaping a language, we are, to a considerable extent still, in using that language. This is what we are then in your diagon, fell Kuniger Frömi Frunan, Otha Atalingus Ellen Fremdan. And that's a fantastic thing. This is deeds of valor performed or did. The first passage of Beowulf that I was asked to read by my professor of old English concerned the trip that Beowulf and his men made over water. And that sea voyage was extraordinarily hard to read in the Old English. And I remember translating it and I was almost panting. It was so exquisitely beautiful and I had to understand it. I had to know what it meant. It was important because it moved me. It was important because I learned something from it. I had an insight into other people's reactions in these kinds of things, and it was as impressive as it could possibly be. And I read some of the, the poetry to my then eight and nine-year-old children who enjoyed it immensely. If, if my eight and nine-year-old boys could understand Beowulf, anybody can understand Beowulf in modern English. 